Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Raida. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, please make sure to click on that post notification so you know every time that I post. So, do you guys notice anything different about me? You see that? I have my school uniform on, yes. I do go to Anderson College. I'm not sure if you guys can see the name, but today's video will be about schools, schools, schools. So before we get into today's video, I just wanted to kind of go over what we discussed in the previous video. In the last video, I did tell you guys a few of the things that medical laboratory technicians do. I'm gonna go over those things with you guys very quickly. I'm just gonna read off my paper very quickly so I don't miss any point. Is they collect blood or other samples from patients. Uh, we receive tissue samples from patients. We can log patient samples and prepare them for testing. We can also set up medical laboratory equipment. We can conduct routine laboratory tests and sample analysis. And finally, we do clean and maintain medical laboratory and medical laboratory equipment. So those are some of the things that we do on top of all the other things that I listed in the previous video. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, but that's pretty much that. Let's dive into today's video. Okay, so today's video, you guys, I'm going to be discussing three different things. The first area is the courses that we take in the medical laboratory technician program. The second is the um, schools that you can go to across Toronto that offer the program medical laboratory technician program and the last thing is the most juiciest part which most of you guys are interested in which is salary it's the salary that medical laboratory technicians get paid so some of the courses that we take in the medical laboratory technician program are I am going to list them hopefully on the screen if I can figure out how to um, put them up on the screen I will do it if not i am just going to go over a list of the courses that we do take in the medical laboratory technician program so some of the courses that we take in the program are laboratory safety and women's so excuse me if you guys see me looking down because i do have a printout of all of the courses that we take i didn't want to forget anything i tend to forget a lot of stuff because you know my memory is getting bad for some reason so i wanted to i just wrote everything down and i am reading it to you guys but some of the courses, like I said, that we take is Laboratory Safety and WMIS. WMIS stands for Workplace Hazardous Material Information System. In that module, we learn about the safeties of working in the laboratory. We learn about different chemicals. You can't work in a lab if you don't know where certain items go. Like, for example, glassware. We deal with specimen. We deal with urine. We deal with blood. We need to know exactly where each item would go. That's basically what laboratory safety does. We need to learn about all of that because we cannot work in a lab if you don't know the safeties of being in a lab because you can bring yourself dangers, you can bring other people dangers. So another module that we learn in school is the structure and function of the human body, which basically is anatomy and physiology. That is a very big module. So for those of you who may not be too good with anatomy or how the body works, um, this is going to be a major, major, major module in this program. Just to let you guys know, we also do learn about the body systems and we do have about 11 different body systems, okay? I'm gonna go over the 11 body systems with you guys very quickly. I'm just gonna name them. I'm not gonna go into what each system does. I'm just gonna name them very quickly so you guys have a brief idea of what you guys will be learning about. So we have the circulatory system, we have the respiratory system, we have the digestive system, we have the excretory system, which I can't even pronounce. Uh, we have the nervous system, we have the endocrine system. Um, also, we do learn about the immune system, the integumentary system, which is the skin, um, the skeletal system, the muscle system, and last but not least, the reproductive system. So those are all of the systems that you will discuss in class so prepare yourself for that so the next few modules i'm going to list them very vaguely so you guys have an idea of what you will be learning in class so they are the you will learn about clinical chemistry you do learn about laboratory mathematics so if you guys suck in math and you thought you were going to get away with it in this program no nope, you do learn about math it's not the typical math that you're used to from high school and middle school it's laboratory mathematics so it's similar so as long as you remember bed mass, you should be good to go. Um, so laboratory mathematics. We do learn about medical terminology, which is a must. Obviously you can be in the medical field 
if you don't understand the terminology that they use so medical terminology is a must we do learn about OHIP and information handling for those of you who don't know OHIP OHIP is the Ontario Health Insurance Plan it's a government-based insurance plan for all Canadians Canadian residents so it's an Ontario health insurance plan for all Canadian residents also we do learn about electrocardiogram and halter monitor electrocardiograms I'm not sure if I mentioned in my previous video I think I did it's basically I'm gonna insert a picture for you guys of what an electrocardiogram is electrocardiogram basically check to see how well your heart is functioning by looking at by measuring the electrical activity of your heart so that's pretty much what that does next we do learn about hearts and heart diseases there's so many different heart diseases if you're gonna be in the medical laboratory technician field you need to know you also need to learn learn about vital signs vital signs are pulse rate respiration temperature and blood pressure i'm not sure if i'm missing anything so to me vital signs are actually really important these are basics another way to determine if this person is actually breathing or if this person is gone and my favorite 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 unit of all which is what we're actually doing in school right now is microbiology you guys will learn about microbiology microbiology is interesting because it dives in and it studies viruses protozoa bacteria on a microscopic level which is super super cool it's amazing to see these little creatures running around under a microscope like you would never think that this is how they look like so now that's all done that's that um, those are all the courses that you would be taking in school now let's talk about schools schools and school for those of you who are interested in becoming medical laboratory technicians in Toronto specifically there is one school that I'm aware of which is Centennial College that offers the medical laboratory technician program it's a one-year program however I do not go to that school initially I wanted to but then I came across private colleges there's a lot of private colleges in Toronto that offer the medical laboratory technician program the best thing about private colleges is that you don't have to wait like for Centennial for instance the start date is always September so if you miss the deadline to apply for a fall intake you're gonna have to wait the following year excuse me for you to do the program but with private colleges that they start every three to four months there is a new intake so there is a new enrollment of students taking the program and that's exactly what made me going to private college versus like a regular college okay so as far as i know there's two colleges in toronto specifically that offer the medical laboratory um, technician program and one is anderson college which is the school that i go to as you guys can see i have my uniform on there is uniform in your school you have to be in your scrubs so this is these are actually my scrubs that i have to wear um so it's anderson college and there's algonquin college if you guys are interested in getting a little bit more information about private colleges and how they work versus like a regular college let me know leave me a comment down below and i could definitely make a video on it finally moving on to salary 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 how much do medical laboratory technicians make okay i am actually gonna go ahead and google this for you guys okay because i live in toronto every province is different in ontario specifically i'm gonna google hold on so i'm gonna uh -huh. Okay, so I went to salary.com. So where I'm getting the information from right now is salary.com. Okay, and it goes, how much does a medical laboratory technician make in Ontario? And this says the average medical laboratory technician salary in Ontario is 
56,191 as of October 30th, 2019. That's actually really cool because I was looking into this previously and when I looked at it a couple of months ago, it wasn't at 56. It was actually around 45,000. So I don't know where the huge increase came from, but I am excited. That's all I'm going to say. So the changes actually came into effect on October 30th of 2019, so just last month. And then it says, but the range typically falls between 50,000, 313, and 61,704. I would say that 61,704 typically is for the higher end, which is someone who's been in the field for some time. Uh, and then it also says that the salary ranges can vary depending on important factors, including your education, certifications, and additional skills. But, but I will tell you guys one thing. Okay, so for a one-year program, after you graduate, to start off at 56,000 a year is amazing, because it's not a two-year program. This is a one-year program. But for a one-year program, to be starting off even at 50,000, even though this thing said 56, let's just say 50,000 a year, for a one-year program girl you better get on it that's all i'm gonna say and you guys just keep in mind this is just the average that i'm doing because i'm in ontario but this is just basically the average from canada so all of canada so ontario could be a little bit less i know if you were to live in like saskatchewan or for people that live in alberta they do get paid a little bit more than what we get paid here in ontario so you know if you're considering moving i suggest you you go you follow the money trail okay follow the money trail okay guys that's about it for today's video i hope you guys liked all the information that i provided like i said if you guys want me to provide you more information about private school versus government-based schools let me know in the comment section and i can definitely make a video or two or three you know i could stretch it <laughs> If you guys have any other questions for me, like I said, always leave me a comment and I will get back to you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned. Most likely for my next video, I am going to do some type of vlog and take you guys with me to school so you see exactly what I do when I'm in school on a daily basis. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, cheers!